So what's up gamers, Xenogrid here, welcome back to another video. In this video I'll be showing you guys how you can check your FPS and monitor your CPU, GPU and RAM usage and their temperatures while playing any games. So without wasting any more time, let's get right into it. It's really simple and easy to do and if this video does help you then please consider subscribing to the channel, it will mean a lot to me. So let's get into it. So first of all go ahead and go to this link, the link will be in the description box below and download this software called MSI Afterburner. Now I already have it downloaded on my PC, so go to the download and unzip it using WinRAR or any other software. After unzipping, just go into the file and install this software. So just select yes, next, I accept, next. And make sure that you have this one ticked, otherwise it will not work properly. So just install it. Now after installing MSI Afterburner, you have to install Revertune Statistic Setup. So it will be automatic, so just go ahead and hit OK, then Next, then I accept, Next, just install it. So let's finish the setup and run the software. So here we have MSI Afterburner running on our PC. Here you'll find an interface like this. Just go to settings. Then from here you can see your GPU. Now if you have multiple GPUs you can see it here but I have only one which is a GTX 1050 Ti so I can only see this. Now if you want to use that FPS monitoring stuff always then make sure to tick these two ticks. So after that go to monitoring and from here let's select what we want to monitor. So first we have GPU temperature, yes we do want to check our GPU temperature, so tick this box where it says show in on screen display. Then let's select GPU usage, let's tick this one as well, now we don't need any of this. Then we have memory usage, which, so make sure to tick this one. Then from here go a little below, now here you can see I have CPU 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So what this basically means is that all the CPU cores and threads that your PC has will be shown here. So for suppose I am using a Ryzen 5 3600X CPU which has 6 core 12 thread and I have 12 threads in my CPU which is why I can see up to CPU 12. Now if you are using a CPU like Intel Core i3. You will see numbers up to CPU 4 here most probably, like it will depend on how many cores your CPU has. So as you can see I have 12 threads and that's a lot. So I don't want all of them, so I want an average number. So here you will see one CPU temperature which doesn't have any number. So go ahead and select that and set it to on screen display. From here you can see I have again, I have CPU usage from CPU 1 to CPU 12. I don't want all of them to be on my screen, so I'm just going to select this one. And from here you can also see all the CPU clocks. I don't want to see all the CPU clocks, just go ahead and select this one. Now from here you can see the RAM usage, make sure to turn this one on as well. Now as you can see we have frame rate, frame time and frame rate minimum here, which do not have this ticked here. So make sure to tick this one before you proceed any further, otherwise you will not see the frame rate. So make sure to show frame rate on on screen display as well and also frame time. Now if you want to see frame time I recommend you use text plus graph. Now all of these are not quite necessary but you can turn them on as well just like you did with frame rate and frame time. So let's turn on frame rate 1%. Now a lot of people don't know what 1% and 0.1% means. I need a proper explanation video for that and this one is not that. Now as we have all of them on on screen display which is OSD, just hit apply. Now here you'll see an option called on screen display. Now go here, now here you can toggle on screen display if you want to turn it on or off at any time. So I'm going to select this as numpad 9 because that's a button that I don't use often. So go ahead and hit apply after that. Now from here you can do a lot of stuff like screen capture, video capture and stuff like that. Now I'm not going to show all of them in this video because those are a little more complicated stuff. So that's all you have to do to check your usage and stuff. Now let's customize what you are going to see in the screen. So after that hit OK. Now let's open a software called Revertone Statistics. So go here and type R I P A. Now just open it. 
wait okay i already have it opened i can see it from here you can customize it so let's go ahead and customize this first of all set the application detection level to high we don't need stealth mode so turn this off now you can use raster 3d or vector 3d it doesn't make much difference it's just how the text is i use vector 3d because that kind of looks better so you can also change the color of the text from here let's select red then you can also zoom in if you think the text isn't big enough for you and that will be it so let's close this just minimize this and let's go into the game and check all of that what we just did right now so as you guys can see now we are in Saints Row 4 and I'm getting around 70 to 80 FPS and all the things that we just selected are working properly like frame time frame rate GPU and CPU usage and RAM usage and stuff like that as you guys can see everything is working fine and we can also check how much percentage of our GPU or CPU is being used like my CPU is currently using about 100% of the GPU while the CPU is only being used 20 to 25% and what this means is that my PC is bottlenecking really hard so I know you don't have to tell me that I already know that so anyway let's get out of the game and let's do a little more customization now go to the software again then go to monitoring and from here you can see we have GPU temperature from here select override group name and type your GPU name and let's type GTX 1050 Ti temp then go to GPU usage and let's type GPU usage here then go to memory usage and type memory usage here then go to cpu temp just type cpu temp so the cpu i have is the ryzen 5 3600x so i'm just going to type r5 then i'm going to go to cpu usage and type r5 3600 usage then do this with everything as you can see we can do it with cpu clock now i'm not going to do it for cpu clock because it's not necessary then here we have ram usage just type ram usage then go to frame rate let's type frame rate like fps here then we have frame time let's keep it frame time then hit apply then ok now let's go into the game and let's see how it looks. So from here as you can see I have all of them written here. Now it kind of looks messy but it's easily fixable from Revertune. As you can see we have GTX 1050 Ti temp, then we have GPU usage, memory usage, R5 3600 temp, R5 3600 usage, CPU which is the megahertz actually like I didn't select clock and that is what happens if you don't select it so that's how it works so as you can see we already have our FPS and stuff like that so this is it this was it for today and I hope this video helped and well I will see you guys in the next video